Welcome to Ethiopia Insights. Here are the latest developments that have stirred discussion and debate. From the dancing Ethio-Israeli soldier in Gaza, repatriation from Saudi Arabia, to military interventions in Amhara. Each story unveils a unique facet of Ethiopia's complex and dynamic landscape. So sit back, relax, and let's kick things off with a story that has captivated many, a dancing soldier amidst the ruins. Monitor reported that an Ethiopian soldier dancing in the ruins, a symbol of conflict or a cry for peace. This is just one of the stories we're diving into today. In an unusual twist to an age-old conflict, an Ethiopian soldier in the Israeli forces has been recorded dancing inside a destroyed home in Gaza. This unexpected display of joy amidst devastation has left many questioning the intent behind this act. Is it a show of triumph, a moment of relief, or a simple human response to the stresses of warfare. Palestinian media outlets refer to him as an Ethiopian serving with the Israeli military. The incident has sparked a wave of discussion, with opinions as divided as the region itself. Shifting our focus, the East African has reported that Ethiopia has declared a broad-scale repatriation mission aiming to bring back 70,000 of its citizens from Saudi Arabia. Although a commendable act, this decision presents a massive humanitarian predicament for a nation already dealing with displacement problems. This operation, marking the third one since 2018, is projected to kick off in the early part of April. While the total cost of the mission remains undisclosed, the government has underlined the importance of budgeting, logistics and the provision of shelter for the returnees. The United States, a significant contributor to humanitarian services in Ethiopia, anticipates the country to provide substantial support for the displaced. At present, Ethiopia shelters approximately 917,000 refugees from neighboring countries and 4 million internally displaced individuals due to conflicts and environmental adversities. The addition of 70,000 repatriated individuals will inevitably strain the budget allocated for their resettlement. The expenses related to the repatriation will encompass flight tickets, temporary lodging at transition centers in Addis Ababa, the cost of travel back to their native regions, and a small sum to help them re-establish their lives. Borkana News reported that the Ethiopian government has reportedly detained Zinabu Abera, the chairman of the Ethiopian People's Revolutionary Party, EPRP, in the nation's capital, Addis Ababa. According to local news outlet Addis Maleda, Law enforcement officers carried out the arrest and Zinabu is currently held at the 3rd Police Division. The motives behind the arrest have not yet been clarified by the police. This development follows the arrest of EPRP's former chairperson, Abraham Haymanot. Haymanot was detained after attempting to organize a peaceful protest in December 2023 and was only recently released after a three-month stint in jail. Several other dissenters were taken into custody at that time as well. These arrests seem to be a part of a larger trend under the administration of Abi Ahmed, which has been escalating its clampdown on politicians, including parliamentarians, activists and journalists, particularly since the declaration of a state of emergency in August 2023. Strikingly, the legal immunity of parliamentarians who were imprisoned was revoked seven months after their arrests. The long-term impact of these arrests on Ethiopia's political landscape remains to be seen. The apprehension of Abara is the latest incident in a series of governmental restraints on opposition parties, which are sparking questions about the status of political freedom in Ethiopia. Lastly, we delve into the complex world of military interventions and insecurity in Amhara, Ethiopia. A recent article by Ajanan Kabedi, featured on Modern Diplomacy, offers insight into the issue through the lens of game theory, frustration aggression, and custodian theory. This analytical approach provides a unique perspective on the ongoing conflict, shedding light on the underlying factors and potential solutions to the region's instability. We're going deep today into the world of theories, conflicts and events that shape our global panorama. Picture it like a dance, from the moves of a soldier to the waltz of diplomacy. From Huntington's custodian theory to the frustration aggression theory, we'll weave together the threads of events to understand the challenges faced by the Amhara ethnic groups in Ethiopia. Think about it like this. Huntington's 1968 book was a game changer. He talked about a state's armed forces stepping in when a constitution is breached.
That's what's been happening in the Amhara region in Ethiopia since 2018. The military's been stepping in because, man, things got too hot to handle for the regional security sectors. But there's a twist. The constitution from a 95, it's some problems. It wasn't inclusive, Am Amhara folks weren't represented, and it's been causing segregation and insecurity for them. Now here's where the custodian theory comes into play. The Amhara people aren't exactly thrilled about the constitution or the military force defending it. They see the constitution as a tool for other ethnic groups and feel oppressed. Imagine how that feels. Then, there's the frustration aggression theory. It basically says that when people feel pushed around, they strike back. This seems to ring true for the Amhara people who believe that the military force is more of a dictator's guard dog than a protector of rights. This resentment is fueling their aggression and leading them to join rebel groups. Finally got the game theory. It tells us how different players act and react to get what they want. In Amhara, this means everyone from rebel groups to the government and neighboring countries are playing a part in the growing insecurity. So what's the way out? Well, it's about time politicians reconsidered the constitution and maybe even set up a transitional government. It's not ideal, but something's got to give. The Amhara people also need to be made part of the solution. They need justice, representation and security. If the government really wants to establish peace, they'll have to acknowledge the role of the Amhara people and their forces in the political system. In short, the situation in the Amhara region is dance with many players and a constantly changing rhythm. It's a dance of military intervention, rising discontent and a struggle for stability, all influenced by various theories and the realities of the Amhara ethnic group. It's a reminder of the power of perspective, the need for understanding, and the constant demand for dialogue and diplomacy. All right, folks, let's dive a bit deeper into the theories that help us make sense of these complex situations, especially in the Amhara region. You see, Huntington's custodian theory is a bit like a guardian, stepping in when things go south. But here's the rub. The constitution that's supposed to be protected, it's got some serious flaws especially for the Amhara folks, who feel like they've been left out in the cold. And when people feel pushed around, they tend to push back, just like in the frustration-aggression theory. The Amhara people are feeling the heat and they're starting to fight back, joining rebel groups and all. Now, let's take a quick detour to game theory. It's all about how different players act and react to get what they want. In the case of Amhara, it's like a high-stakes game of chess with plenty of players, all trying to secure their piece of the pie. So, what's the solution? Well, it's time for the politicians to step up, reconsider the constitution, and maybe even set up a transitional government. It's not perfect, but hey, it's a start. The Amhara people need to be part of the solution, not just bystanders. They need justice, representation, and security. In a nutshell, the situation in Amhara is like a dance with many partners and a constantly changing beat. It's a dance of military intervention, rising discontent, and a struggle for stability. It's a stark reminder of the power of perspective, the importance of understanding, and the crucial role of dialogue and diplomacy. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment or subscribe.